part two of rapid fire test taking strategies for nursing school. Let's talk about setting priority because we have lots of different ways that we can. First up, ABCs in that order, airway, breathing, circulation. No matter how much you wanna go see that circulation patient first, do not pass go if we have an airway or a breathing patient. Nursing process. We have to go through the steps of ADPI, assessment, diagnosis, planning, intervention, and evaluation. Do not jump to in intervention before you have assessed the patient. We always go from least to most restrictive or invasive, so do not jump ahead to putting in a Foley when we can try non-invasive ways of getting our patient to urinate. Maslow's hierarchy of needs matters for priority setting as well because I'm not worried about my patient's self-actualization if they don't have access to food, water, and shelter. Acute versus chronic. Acute findings take precedence over chronic findings. Your patient with an asthma attack is a higher priority than your patient with chronic COPD. Expected versus unexpected findings. Unexpected takes priority. We expect an SpO2 of 92% in your COPD patient. We don't expect that in your patient with asthma, for instance. Survivability potential is used for mass casualty incidents. Although typically we prioritize the sickest patient in a mass casualty, we prioritize the patient who is most likely to survive. You're doing a great job and I'm really proud of you. Happy studying.